Hey, welcome to Metal Minute with Moss. I'm Moss, and I'm Dan, and we are here to talk to you about all that is heavy. Now, today's review is, is going to be Death Magnetic, the newest Metallica release, which, although isn't exactly very new, it deserves its own review. Now, first, a little sample. Play. <laughs> Alright, now, that was a little sample from All Nightmare Long. Track number five on the song, on the album. Specifically, that was the chorus. Now, we're going to do a song-by-song song review. Based, basing it, comparing it to uh, other Metallica songs, and then judging it on its own criteria. We rate it from one to five. One is the worst, five is the best. Just like any other scale. Right. Now, the first song of the album is That Was Just Your Life. It starts off with a clean guitar intro and progressively gets heavier and faster. Now, I personally think that although the verse itself isn't very good, I like the chorus. It's very catchy. And the pre-chorus. And the solo is very impressive. So I'll give that a three and a half out of five. How about you, Eric? Well, I myself am a big fan of anything that Metallica does. Well, most anything that Metallica does. Um, huge fan of thrash metal. And I think this song, That Was Just Your Life, is a good way to start off this new album. It sh definitely shows who they are. If you listen to a lot of their songs, it starts off with that clean, um, not very busy intro, and then it gets into that hard, rocking um, Metallica that we all know and love. Um, I would like to give the song uh, definitely a four out of four point five out of five. I'm a big fan of this song. All right, song number two on the album is the end of the line. Now, I like this song because it's very heavy. Almost reaching the points that the Black Album set in heaviness. Because although it's not as heavy as Master of Puppets and Ride the Lightning, it's definitely got its own charm that doesn't quite reach the standards that metal sets, but definitely is hard rock. I'd give it a 3 out of 5. I, I disagree. I think it does absolutely meet the standards and I'm not just saying that because it's Metallica I really think that these first two songs I mean we'll see when we get down the album these first, this song the end of the line um, I myself am learning to play it and I think it's very fun it's very edgy very catchy um, it's just a fun song to listen to it's very like the style of Metallica but, um, kind of like their second sort of style. I give it a, I give it a four out of five. The third song on the album is Broken Beat and Scarred. Um, I, I also like this song. It's very powerful, very deep. And by deep, I mean, it, it's not afraid to get down there and be angry. Um... You know, it mentions, you know, you they cut me, they rape me, but they don't break me. And I think it's a good new style for Metallica. It's a new kind of way for them to go. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. All right, now, I disagree, personally. Huh. I think... You went for it as Halloween. Yeah, I chose to be broken, beaten, and scarred for Halloween because that was before I had time to compare to A, the rest of the songs from the album, and B, the rest of their career. And although it beats Saint Anger out, well, solo everything wise, beats Saint. Saint Anger doesn't even I have know, a solo. That's why I'm saying it beats out solo wise. I just can't get into this song, quite frankly. I think that it's pretentious. I think that it shows that uh, James Hetfield doesn't have the ability to speak proper English. And quite frankly, I think that it imposes upon itself, and that's why I give it a 2 out of 5. Well, see, this is why we created this show. It's like an ESPN for heavy metal. Um, song yeah. number 4. The Day That Never Comes, Metallica's latest response to, to the power ballad movement. Now, personally, I enjoyed it. I think it's a good song. It's progressive, in the, that it starts off calm and slow and gets heavier, quite until the end with the harmony solo. But overall, I think it's just a 
not as good copy of one from *And Justice for All*, and overall, it's got the same song structure, which really bothered me. So although I like it as a song, I think they are really just copying what they've already done, and that's not the Metallica I know and love, and that's why I give it a 3.5, because it's still good. Well, uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this. Um, I don't know if we might even get down to the last song because I have a lot to say to you right now. Um, I think The Day That Never Comes, um, I, I really like this song. I, I'm, getting, I'm sounding like a broken record. I like every song on this album. This is, I highly recommend you go out and buy this album. Um, Definitely. Buy it. Though. Yes. Buy Death Magnetic. Purchase it. Listen to it. Love it. The Day That Never Comes um, is the first... Uh, kind of ballad song on this album and I, I really can't put it into words it's just it's just got great structure I don't think it's like one at all because all right we're gonna have to play both songs later but anyway let's not argue about its similarities to one that was just a point that I thought I should make uh, well <laughs> anyway I give this song a four out of five all right well next up on the album comes my personal favorite song from the album, and now that I've taken a full listen. We gave you the sample from it, it's all nightmare long. Song this song, heart. it starts off with a clean intro, which people aren't sure if it's bass or just a guitar and drop D, not sure. I just know one thing, and that is that it is a really catchy song. It starts off upbeat and catchy, and then it speeds up to a chugging riff, and then he just, God, Hetfield starts screaming, it's awesome. It and just the dominated. So the solo was awesome. I am not sure how to describe it, but I give this song a four and a half out of five. They, they really should have made the uh, music video for this song instead of The Day That Never Comes. Yeah. And it's funny because he says that The Day That Never Comes is the best song, or one of the best. It's no, I say it's a good song. I don't say it's the best song. It's also their first single, but All Night Very Long, I believe, was released as a single. I think they're third from this album. And If, if, you, if you leave it up to me, I'd say... Almost every song on this album could be its own single. Which isn't that good for an album, but I'm not going to argue about the quality of the album itself. No, you so like, go. you want to have good songs. Like, Master of Puppets has a lot of memorable, so memorable songs. Alright, if you're going to compare this to Master of Puppets... I'm not comparing it to Ma I'm not right. comparing it to Master of Puppets. Alright, just rate All Nightmare Long. I can't do this right now. <laughs> well, then why'd you sign up for the show? <laughs> Alright, All right, well, All Nightmare Long, I'm a big fan of, because like Matt said, um, it's got a very fast riff, or multiple fast riffs. It just, it's very unpredictable, this song. It keeps changing, keeps changing. At the very end, um, there's one point, it's after, like, the third chorus or the third verse. It's just like a pause, and this build-up of suspense. It's only like two seconds, but you can feel it. It feels like a year. And then Headfield just comes in, well, the whole band just comes in and they just start screaming and ripping out all these massive hits and licks and it's, it's just a great song. Four and a half out of five. All right, next song, Cyanide. My personal favorite. Ah, God, I hate this song. Wow. Wow. All right, Leave first, the room. First off, starts off with Hammett using his wah. And although I love it when he puts that wah on, it's expressive. It's this riff that he starts it off with, this beginning, this build-up, is lazy. Everything about the song is lazy. The solo is poor, the riffs are repetitive and annoying, and quite frankly, Hetfield hasn't sounded worse. His voice gets all squeaky and nasally like mine is right now because I'm sick. And quite frankly, I cannot enjoy this song. I've listened to it many times just to try. Can't get it. 0.5 out of 5, because oh. the, some people will disagree with me, such as my retarded co-host here. Oh, retarded, okay. Yeah. Well, at least I listen to the music. I agree with him that the opening intro is a little... Um, it's not really like Metallica to use their wah on an opening riff. I'm more accustomed to the music on a solo, but I just think that this song is just powerful. I give it a 3.5 out of 5, and I think that's all the time we have for reviews. There's four more songs on this album, The Unforgiven Three, The Judas Kiss, Suicide and Redemption, and My Apocalypse.